Hello guys, this is Toki Android here, or if you know me, know me from MP4 Nation Forum, I am Cristo, or Slate Droid at Cristo, or XDA Pure Valor. Okay? So what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install a 2.2 Android onto your Windows N9 capacitive device, or the Wopad. Okay? But these are the capacitive versions. Now, what you're going to do first is go to this site mp4nation.net slash forum slash few topics on so forth and uh, I have uh, their arcade tools to update here now the thing is is you're going to need that to actually install the firmware okay the 2.2 image file ignore that one I'm going to put a new one in the description that is more updated cleaned up okay alright so now along with this what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go ahead and uh, plug in a USB cable for your Windows device Windows N9 device. Okay, so what you're going to do is, uh, once the USB is plugged into the computer, you're going to hold the Escape button on the N9 device, and you're going to go ahead and plug it in while holding the Escape button. Of course, as you can see on my computer, that is trying to uh, look at the drivers right there. You can go ahead. You can let it try and do a search. Cause it's not going to find it. You can say Skip. So, once you do that, what you can do, you have to install the drivers, mm -hmm. okay, by hand. Now, with those, the RK Tools file that you downloaded from right here, that's going to make it where that one actually has the drivers in it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Computer, Manage. Device Manager, Unknown Device, and right click, Update Driver Software, Browse My Computer. Now, mine looks like it's already there. Now, you're going to have either AMD 64 or x86, put in whichever one you have after Windows 7. Click OK, click Next. Install the very software. We get to install it. Yes. Install it. What this is going to be able to do is going to make it where you can actually update the ROM or the firmware, whatever you want to call it, um, and you won't have to go through this driver process every time. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and open up the tools folder. Go wherever you download the arcade tools. I put all my stuff in the Android folder. Um, it's going to be, yours is not going to be like that, it's just going to say arcade tools like this right here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get a RK like that. RK Android DM. Alright. I used to successfully mm -hmm. updated 2818 device. That's updated. There we go. Okay. Sorry. That's for the uh, RK2808. Alright. Well, here you go. You see how it's green for the device upgrade. Alright. So, what you're actually going to do is now, wherever you download that image file, which I'm just going to pick one of my mini images, and what you're going to do is you're going to click the green dots right over here in the right hand corner. You're going to go wherever the image file is. You're going to pick one. So I'm going to go ahead and right there. Open. Take the minute. Once it's in here in the image, all you're going to do is click upgrade and you are finished. 
Okay? Go ahead, do not unplug the device until it's fully upgraded. Make sure your device has at least half battery and you are ready to go. Now this does wipe the flash memory, not the SD card memory. Uh, so if you have anything in your flash memory you want, you need to go ahead and back it up before. Alright? Uh, you have a good day.